shorts. Been waiting on this call. Justin, I'm happier than that Care Bear guy in the honey house. I guess court went well. You're talking to the owner of a brand new 1993 Buick Riviera. 1993, so not new. Fiddles cousin Tyndall is a legal assistant at the law firm Giddy Up Hopscotch and Sloan. That can't be real. Well, he told him our story, and Miss Hopscotch said she wanted to represent us herself. That seems unlikely. What's her first name? Henrietta. Henrietta Hopscotch. Anyway, I guess she's really into whippets. She was higher than a blimp. When we got to the courthouse. Probably not a great attorney if she's into whippets. Fendel fired her on the spot. Decided we're going to represent ourselves. Wow, I didn't think it could get worse. Well, it gets better. Turns out Jimbo Stroganov's lawyer got arrested for harboring a fugitive. How is that better? See, Jimbo had to represent herself too, which is, which is great because she's got dementia. Okay, how old is this woman? 92. But she looks way older than that. She's 92 and she's an N.A. sponsor? Not anymore. She relapsed. It's actually a pretty big part of the story. It almost has to be. So the judge comes out, and wouldn't you believe it? It's Grover Giddy Up himself. Of Giddy Up Hopscotch and Sloan? Talk about a small planet. Are you sure this wasn't a dream? Judge Grover says he's lucky that he didn't hold us... We're lucky he didn't hold us in contempt. Because our clothes... What were you wearing? Overalls. But he was way more mad at Jimbo. She was in a hot dog costume. I'd go to therapy if I thought anyone would believe me. So he starts asking us questions about the go-kart. And out of nowhere, Fendel faints. What? Bang! Hits his head face on the face on the desk and the table on the hits. Hits the ground like a bag of eggs. Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. He popped up like a spring and asked Judge Grover for a date. Definitely not okay. So Jimbo's crackling like a wizard. And Giddy Up, well, he starts slamming his little hammer and like those... Remember that game where the snakes come out of the holes and you bang them on the nose? What'd the judge say? He said he kicked everybody out of the courtroom. Says we gotta go meet him in his office. I'd be more concerned if I thought it was the first time that you have been invited into a judge's chambers. It wasn't. Anyways, Findle faints again. This time, he crash smash into a bookcase, knocks all these books all over the floor. How does your life unfold this way? I tried helping him up, but I tripped over a footin' and accidentally pulled the fire alarm. It's like if Mr. Bean did meth. The sprinkler starts system goes off, and the, the judge calls in the bailiff to arrest us. Good. That's justice. Oh, yeah? Well, you know who the bailiff was? Does it matter? Topaz. Okay, now I know it's not real. Just when I thought I couldn't get any crazier, Jimbo throws up jelly beans all over the judge. Jelly beans? Correction. We thought they were jelly beans. Turns out they were various painkillers dipped in Easter egg dye. I don't know if that makes me sad or angry. Meanwhile, Fendel pops up like a trampoline, puts Topaz in a sleeper hall. This is really dysfunctional behavior, man. Long story short, we convinced Judge Giddy up that it was all a misunderstanding. And as long as we promised never to go back to the courthouse, he awarded us Jimbo's car. Sounds like you and Findle took advantage of an old woman suffering from dementia and addiction. Can't you just be happy for me for one time? Absolutely not. Now, I can only assume that this courthouse is in a shed in the woods somewhere. It's a treehouse, if you must know. Okay, hold on. Why is his head on the face? Face on the table and hits the desk. Hits the ground like a bag of eggs. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's exact. I didn't think it could get worse. Still fucking Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm realizing it's also now interesting to note that there's a fire alarm in the treehouse <laughs> that we think is a courthouse. She's 92 and an N.A.'s... N-N-N-N-A? Fendel's cousin Tendel is a legal assistant at the... Mm. Good. That's justice. <laughs> Anyway, I guess she's really into whippets, so she was higher than a blimp when we got to the courthouse. <laughs> Insane. Well, it's kind of... But he was way more mad at Jimbo. She was in a hot dog costume. <laughs> Absolutely not. I can only assume this... Sh- <clears throat> also, I know, I know how to pronounce nothing. 
And we can only assume that it's because I'm so drunk that I've forgotten, or I've only ever read those words. You called me Circle Pimp Park while I'm one day. This is what you <laughs> 